Oh. <clears throat> what are we doing? <clears throat> First, let me. Uh, what's up, people? This is the uh, Sports in the Trenches podcast, episode eight. Lakers foul again. It's zero and four. I'm starting to see they lost it down. LeBron look like look mentally drained, man. And we we on the four games in. He look mentally drained, man. And what more we we want him to do? Like we want him to just put that cape on and be out. If he can play, if this was golf, if this was golf, and you want to have to depend on LeBron, then we want we want to be having this conversation, man. Just watching them. I watch these games over and over. I watch like film work, right? I watch it like how you would watch film work. I watch them over and over. I just constantly just see, to see, like where, where like the terribleness comes from, right? It it just seems like a lot of players don't have IQ. They play so nervous around the burn. It's like they play. Like, you know how you would be somewhere and you're not being yourself because you're around this certain situation. So I got to kind of be whatever this situation. That's how they playing. They not being themselves. And I don't know if if it's like LeBron leadership or the way he carries himself. I don't know, bro. But you can't look at everybody else and not look at the, like the leader or the team. So I'm looking at the leader like, what are you, what, what can you possibly do to like really get things going for others it's really not sharing the ball bro it's really not bro and i'm not one of them people that say you're a stat sheet filler you know what i mean like i'm not one of them people me personally i wouldn't ever went back to the lakers though if i knew i would never resign if, only if i knew they was gonna deliver right i, I had to be have some type of mentality knowing they, they about to deliver for me to sign again right uh, bro, it just seemed like if hypothetically, I'm never gonna be LeBron James, right? I'm just saying, just to have a thought process of how he thought about when he was resigning with them, bro. And you like, it just seemed like, do you, is it like just it's breaking records? What it felt like is that breaking a record in the Laker jerseys is what we work for, like. Why do Lakers doesn't grasp Kobe Bryant mentality? We don't raise fucking banners. We raise championships, bro. I never did like the Lakers, but I liked it them. Now I like them much more when Kobe was there, when they had the Kobe era, the Shaq. Because they didn't, they got the job done, bro. The players that you have now, man, is they don't grasp that, bro. Period, bro. They comfortable, bro. They comfortable. They don't nobody look like it's no. It look like they around a bunch of yes mans and I'm like Shaq say community gangsters. Nobody in there saying, "Hey, bro, you need to be, bro." I think you playing slow. I think we need to play slow certain moments. Bro, I think you can do better. It's nobody challenging nobody, bro. It just seemed like AD always getting hurt. Like, what the fuzz, man? And I love AD, bro. Man, I ain't got nothing bad to say about it. He's just... What is up with Lakers, bro? Just... It's... I'm not going to make this podcast about them. It's just... It's terrible watching them play. You you got to... I'm starting to think when Kobe retired, his team was better than the team that y'all got now right now, bro. And Kobe didn't have nobody when y'all was just... He, he was on his road to getting these points. Even he still had a mentality to score 60, bro. What the fuck is y'all... Like, this chess shit that, that people be saying, I'm, I'm playing the process, it's just, that's BS, bro. Y'all just not giving y'all all, bro. You're not going to win when you got teams like the Warriors giving it all. No matter what age, no matter how tired it is, no matter what, they giving it all. You got teams like Magic. You got teams 
they actually giving them they all. And you want to say, I'm playing chess. It's not about doing this anymore. Like, if you're not giving your all, you're not going to play, bro. And if you're not leading by example, you're not going to win. Because they're going to be like, mm -hmm. it's, this is like, they, they probably ain't going to say it because, you know, it hurt their business. I'm going to say it for them. If LeBron's leading by example for real, bro, it, it'll be a winning winning situation going on. So now it's like, how can I get the other guys to have a winning mentality? Don't cheat the fucking process. Go out there and will the game. Like, the game is on you. It's not on other players. We're not going to keep, like, this is Lana Walker. You know what Lana Walker can do or can't do right now. Like, so we are not looking for Lana Walker to be the main focus to have the ball. We're we looking for LeBron James, bro. If you can't lead it through your play, like, I always have, because you a big now, man. Get, like, imagine you still had that hunger where I was coming up when you were trying to become what you became. Like, people would just be on the just blame Resbro, bro. But Resbro wasn't there last night, bro. That team sucked, bro. And and players got to accept the fact that they got to, now you got to defer to a certain player. Like, def, I feel like deferring to Resbro is the smartest thing ever because he still can go the extra mile. He just ain't doing it because... He feel like, oh, this is about LeBron James. If it's about breaking records, bro, just let him break the record so he can move forward so y'all can see winning basketball again. Because right now, that system running through James is not what it is anymore, bro. It's not because James is hard. It's just take the load off of him. We looking for him to be him in playoffs. Run that shit another way, man. Running through AD is not working either. It never did, man. I ain't me. I want never did that trade, bro. Big man and James don't work together, bro. A big man, James and a small guy like a, another slasher, like a way, like a Kyrie. That works, man. And you put other big dudes that's like be like, hungry around it. You got an AD. Won the champs in 2020, haven't been the 80 since then, bro. What is going on, man? And I love AD, bro. On and off the coat. Like, just. But this is about critiquing basketball, bro. This is. It's out of hand. These is like top 10, top 20 players on on the same team and losing. And you got Nets losing too. But it's, they fighting though, bro. It's a different story when you fighting. <laughs> the hunger is different from the Nets and the Lakers. At least like Kyrie, KD, they trying. It's just other players got evolved. They got to figure out, you know what I mean? It's nobody fighting on the Lakers, bro. Your main two players ain't even fighting, bro. It's like no willpower. It's none whatsoever, bro. And Ben Simmons, he he going he been out of league for a minute. He's his defense intensity is down. A little nervous, you know. I I, I get it. People, get, I like you got people like Wayne been doing music so long and still get nervous, bro. Probably, you know what I mean. Get them butterflies. Just put that shit up. Miss or not, bro. Like, put that shit up. You Ben Simmons. You know what I mean? So, but, been out for two years, what you expect for Ben Simmons to do, bro. So, I feel like once he gradually get comfortable and they continue to run the ball and be Ben Simmons, things get better, bro. That's it. Once Ben Simmons click, that he can put them buggies in, back up, they going to get better. It, it, but you 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 looking for like people like Lakers player that you Austin Reed oh he gonna click you know, fuck, man you you putting all that on him so you can not put it on yourself man all that shit if I was a superstar of that team like a, a Kobe or LeBron James or AD do all of it going on my shoulder bro look a little all that going on his shoulder like having a mindset of 
not getting junk done, like that mentality, that certain mentality of being that dog, man, you got it. This is how this shit gonna go. Y'all gotta play. You being got deaf, you just got the mentality. Things get better. But you know in your back of your mind, but man, the fuck you doing? If you ain't saying that, what the fuck you doing now? You gonna lose. As a leader, you got to say, what the fuck you doing? If you can't go to these players and say, man, what the fuck are y'all doing, man? We got to fucking say it. Like, if you can't control the room, bro, you're losing. And that's how I feel by, like, the Lakers right now. Who's controlling the room? If you got a patch of better to control the room, you like, it's, it's over, bro. And your main player, like AD and LeBron James, should be controlling the room. Enough said, man. This is not a – I just – this is a disappointment when you, I'm, this is somebody I watch, bro. Greatness, bro. Like, to be, you know what I mean? This is somebody that's been the best player in the world for a while, bro. It's just like, you letting your arrow go because, I don't know, like, you grasp the winning mentality on a consistent basis. Like, winning in life and winning in basketball is two different fucking things to me. It's a business, and that's personal. You missing that shit with, with business, you need to like, leave it. Like, this shit been kind of going on for years, like 2011. Like, certain series, bro, supposed to be on, bro. It's not about having enough, it's about having that mentality. I don't think, bro, grasp it. I just... If you don't grasp, it's hard to win if you don't grasp the mentality. Like, bro, what the f like, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm him for real. And if you him and you arrive, you will let the be fucking building know where you control the room. Sports is just like, yeah. I don't get it. It's just terrible, bro. Like record breakers, man. Like, forget breaking records. Chips. Now P it's Stephen Curry era. He don't he, he kept out no he chips. Even though his young players got to step up to be able to win their chip. Because Clay Thompson and Jeremiah Green, you know they talk to whispering, they not themselves. It's a team. But Denver look good, man. Denver look good. I mean, like it might be Stephen Curry era for real. We need to have these conversations. And it took me a minute. It, just, it might be his era. It's like, it's up for the taking, but people not taking. So why not Stephen Curry taking? Because you, I would want to burn out. If you still in the lead, man, you looking like Jordan on the Wizards. <laughs> That's terrible, man. I made my whole podcast based on just saying Lakers is terrible when you got other amazing games that's amazing that was happening and I don't get it like the book man books is whew, it's looking good too it's, a, it's on a few bro the East look good though but then the West man you cannot play man like, Denver's a tough team. Warriors are a tough team. Clippers are a tough team. Suns and the Warriors, though, bro. That's that playoff. That's that atmosphere. That's that. That's it. Ticket sales. That's it. Ticket sales. Suns and the Warriors. That tent. Tension there. It's crazy, bro. Like, it is crazy, bro. When Suns look like they are the team. And they be like, they been there two, three years. And we are professionals. No matter how long y'all been there. We follow this in no fucking system. It's common sense. Play D, bro, to your best ability. And when it comes to offense, make smart moves, smart decisions. Base it. Play basic. Take your chance. Take your shot. I mean, they'll take, you know what I mean? It's basic plan, bro. And if you can go to the stream to get a playoff, go to the stream. But if you're playing basic and playing with willpower and hunger, it don't matter by what system we all plan to win. So it's free flowing. It's free flowing. But if we got to continue running through you, and it's just, it might be slowing me up because the way you running it is slow pace. 
it's everybody not touching the ball. We just got to wait to see what you do. You want us to cut and hope it's my wide open. That shit, it's not working, bro. That way of style of playing is not working no more. At least it don't work with Lakers. It don't work. That, like, that Jane style of play, feed the big man in and out. That's cool. It, it's a different era now. Big man is, is out. You got Jokic just hitting jump shots and threes. If you just think, hey, he going to be pounding on these guys and these guys like, man, that's just not working, bro. It's just not working, bro. You can't, you know, I don't understand, Rob, because why did you not sign? You signed a bunch of playmakers that they got to have the ball just as well as Burns ain't got to have the ball. I don't get it. Why would you sign them? You just should sign shooters. Sign shooters. Jamal Carver, it's shooters out there. Sign shooters, bro. Stop signing people who want to defer and just be scared to do them and be them. And got to have the ball. None got to have the ball. The reason why none was successful in Miami because they brought him in. He had the ball. He had the ball. He had to go because Butler. He had touches, obviously. But he had the ball. You, you making none a shooter, bro? What are we doing? We making none a shooter. He creates offense. You're not getting him involved the right way. It's like that. Who's coaching? That, that ain't. That's. Yeah, stop running this shit through James, man. Because people already know what you're going to do. They're running through the burn James. It's. Obviously now. Scared it. I don't get it, bro. And with that being it's just sports is an amazing time. It's like with Tom Brady, man. I came back and I came back to a team that's just, like this we were just running that time of show year before we had. And what the what happened from that to now? That shit is a mental drain, bro. Players don't play good, bro. Play better. Just do better. What you do every day. You shouldn't be going to party, bro. You shouldn't be, oh, I'm just at home, my wife. Chip. Need none of that, bro. I'm going to be beating myself up, working. How can I get better? How can I continue to get better? This is what I do. This is how I'm going to feed my family. How can I get better? If not, I shouldn't be playing. They fall zero to four, bro. Like it's it's ain't no TikTok saying they gonna lose zero to seven. It's looking like that's the truth. All right, see, 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 Nick. Let's see what happens. Let's see. I just made this whole segment about Lakers falling zero because this is what it's about. It's what other te it's teams is supposed to be tanking is playing better than them, bro. Thunders, Thunders look better than Lakers, bro. <laughs> Kings look better than the Lakers, bro. I'm talking about this. You got the burn James. You know what I'm saying? It's what? Whoa. When we be saying this in the early two, see what I'm saying? We put him in a box like this. Like, whew, wiping away. Come on, man. I wholeheartedly still believe dude can win three, four more rings, bro. Need a team around him, though. You want to wear and tear him. Mm. What the hell, Rob Polinko gone? Y'all keep kept him? Come on, man. Y'all need a whole set. Rebuild, my old. I'm going to rebuild. Jane Chanel resigned. I think rebuild. Management, GM, president, all that. Coaches. You can't get no new coach. You got to rebuild that. Top all the way through. You need to rebuild. Rebuild till you become that franchise again, man. Right now, y'all fucking up this man's like, 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 like his legacy is like, phew, to me, bro, I can win more rings. What are we doing? What other, what other parts I do? You accepted this? You accepted this? You signed and you accepted this? You accepted this? What are you doing? Sports is amazing, though. Uh, like I said, you got 
Boston look good, bro. They haven't been playing. Jason Tate, like that pickup, they like Brogdon's. Did they get Brogdon? What the fuck is Lakers doing? <laughs> this is garbage, man. Somebody take the trash out, bro. Take the trash out, man. This is sports in the trenches, man. We're going to end it like this, man. Like We're going to end it just like this so you can get the message. Like, they can get the message so Lakers can get the message, bro. We're going to end it like this. Straight up, nothing else. Like, I see what Nets doing. They getting Vince in and running the PG, making slashes out of Kyrie and KD. He, he, Vince going to get his shot. Right. They listening. They listening. They growing. They tweaking it as they go. But Lakers, it's not tweaking. James, either you going to come off the bench so you can show, so you can see what the fuck. Like, watching film. Y'all watch film like how I watch film to critique it. I'm watching. I'm like, bro, it's play that you shouldn't be doing. It's play that you need to be doing. Not just on Brown, just saying Brown too. Hey, like, critique each other. It's nothing wrong with critiquing each other, bro. You need attention. You need attention. Somebody needs to say, bro, you need to play, bro. You need to play. So, like, it be attention and continue to be, like, you're going to feed off the end. There's no friends when they come to bed. And... Too comfortable. Get the fuck out of the L.A. with this. Too comfortable. Get Kobe when you need him. All right, peace, people. Sports and the Trenches episode eight. You already know.